and welcome guys so this video is we try to prove the Lagrange a uh, Lagrange uh, four square theorem okay so okay so basically it seems it says that uh, for every integer a positive integer uh, x can be written This can be written into a uh, sum of four squares. Okay, so this square means the integer square. Uh, so basically, x can be written as a square plus b square plus c square plus d square, and a, b, c, d are the integer. So natural number unit, uh, unit zero. Okay. Okay, so this is the key. Uh, key theorem and uh, what we want to prove okay and the uh, proof is just using a similar technique similar technique as the uh, 4m plus 1 uh, format 4m plus 1 theorem so the key theorem is what we need to use the, is the Minkowski theorem okay so let me uh, let me try to uh, tell you about the Minkowski theorem and I already uh, tell uh, I already uh, uh, give the introduction uh, in the previous lecture. Okay, but but now uh, uh, let me record it. Okay, so basically, uh, basically, uh, so every time, uh, one once you have a set in R n, and the L is a lattice in R n. Okay, so you can calculate the determinant of the lattice. Okay, so. So if this first A is symmetric, if A is symmetric, the second is that uh, the volume of A is larger than determinant L times 2 to the n, then A intersection L, uh, which is non-zero. Okay, so I should say that uh, I should say that A contains a non-zero uh, point in L. So L is just the linear expansion of some uh, uh, integer li linear expansion of some basis base vector base vector. Okay, so this is the theorem. Uh, I will not prove here, but uh, you can. See go to uh, I will give the proof in the other, other videos okay we also need a lemma so I also will not prove the lemma here so lemma said that uh, for every point P uh, I should say prime okay for every prime P there is this RNS belongs to uh, FP FP means that uh, you can view as uh, just from 0, 1 to 2 to P minus 1 such as R plus R square plus S square equals to minus 1 ma P okay and uh, another lemma is that uh, if X Y are uh, sum of four square then uh, X Y X times Y are a uh, sum of four square So to uh, to prove this, uh, this is very simple. That you can go to Google. Basically, you just try to write down. Uh, you you can try to decompose the two square terms. So basically, you can if somebody give you uh, two numbers which can write into the two square. Uh, you can decompose with with another four square. Okay, so which is really easy. That I don't want to uh, go go into the detail. Okay, so now we have two lemmas and uh, the Minkowski theorem. Okay. Okay, so now we start to uh, give the proof. Okay, so proof. So from lemma, I should say lemma two. Basically, uh, we only need to show. We only need to show. We only need to show every prime p is sum of four square. Okay, 
So this is the key point that we only need to show that uh, every prime p is sum of four square. Then if we can show this, then every number can be decomposed into distinct, uh, can be decomposed into primes. So each prime is sum of four squares. So their product are also uh, sum of four squares. Okay, so the next step is we try to uh, build a lattice. So this is the lattice, i from 1 to under 4, and I choose this and I just z. So I choose a1 to be p0, 0, 0, and the a2 to be 0, p0, 0, 0 and the a3 just rs1, 0. a4 is s minus r, 0, 1. Okay. Okay, so from this, uh, what we can show is that, uh, okay, so first you can check that the determinant of L is just P squared. Okay, and so this is a fact. Okay, and the second is that uh, if you take any L, X, and I can assume that X is T1, A1, T2, A2, T3, A3, T4, A4. Okay, and then you can compute the square, the norm of this. You get PT1 plus... Okay, so this is T1, T2, T3, T4. So we get PT1 times S plus SD3 per RR T3 plus ST4 square plus T2A2. So, okay, so, so the second component is T2P plus T3R minus RT4 square plus T3 square plus T4 square. Okay, so the direct computation, nothing special. Okay, but the but important thing is that uh, you can, if you write down a square and then you mark p, then you will only get the r square, t3 square plus s square, t4 square, plus t1 square plus t4 square. And you will get uh, r square plus s square plus 1 t3 square t4 square ma p uh let me see this is r square sd square square oh okay so you uh i miss one okay so this is s this is sorry this is s and then this is r t4 so you get the uh, this t3 square square plus r square t4 square Okay, so this is the case, so you get zero. Okay, so the okay, so the final part is construct a Minkowski set A. So construct A, just the ball with radius square root of two two p at zero 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 zero. The next is just compute volume. So the first thing is A is symmetric. And the second is A is convex. Okay, so volume A, A in four dimensional sphere is just this. Okay, you, you guys can see my other videos. I give a short proof. So this is 2 pi square p square larger than 16 p to a fourth, uh, p to a cube. So this is 2 to a four times the determinant of a lattice. So this which tell you that the volume of A, which tell you that A contains some non zero points. So, A contains some points, some non-zero points in L. So, uh, but things, uh, suppose x1, x2, x3, x4 uh, lies in A, then you have this, right? Because this is non-zero and also less than the radius sphere, but also, x1 plus x2, x3, q three, x4 is 0 ma p in L. So the only possible uh, possibilities is that uh, the sum of 4 squares equals to p. Okay, so now we have constructed, uh, uh, we have finished the format not for me, Lagrange four squares theorem. Okay, so this is the proof, and I will see you guys in the next uh, interesting videos.